ultimate panel of the Evo Plus, and uh, look at the features provided. So, when you start the screen, you have a pretty good-looking uh, display uh, with animated uh, wallpaper. Looks nice, and uh, it, say, it says the date and the time on the right side. And you have a radio option here and then you can even make calls, equalizer and settings. My car which displays more statistics about the car and more media options, navigation for the maps and apps, custom maps. So that's pretty interesting. You can actually develop custom apps on this platform. The footing panel also has a home button here and a micro SD slot. This can be removed. And uh, this can be removed and uh, you have two slots, one for the map and one for the media SD card so you can play your music there then you have a volume button knob very basic and then the Bluetooth indicator and uh, here you have a radio which then so we can tap on the radio it goes the radio screen and uh, you can tune to multiple channels we so I can go back to my home and then now I go to the media I choose my USB because that is active now and it plays music and uh, unlike the previous E2 you have many customizable options here you can also Next song and the equalizer. It has the basic uh, equalizing options here. Uh, it's normal, and uh, you also have speakers set up. So there are four speakers on the two plus. We have two here, one here, and one here, and two at the back. And uh, so play some music. I can. Can get them all to the front and all to the back. And the back speakers, the sound, the music only plays in the back speakers and doesn't disturb the front driver. So, pretty good customization. I like it. And uh, my car, yeah, that's the next interesting thing which uh, electric car users always love. So, you have this car status, this is something that, uh, that currently it says it's idle and this is a charged, fully charged E2 Plus P8 version, so it goes 140 km per charge. And uh, while the car is uh, while the car is in motion, yeah, you get uh, indicators to indicate battery charging and discharge so pretty interesting stuff and you have a revive option which uh, gives you more battery if you're stuck somewhere uh, and you need charge there's a little bit of backup reserve that is stored that can be used to revive your uh, and and travel for a few kilometers so that's that and drive efficiency and echo drive these are these are not enabled so it uh, it really defeats the purpose by not enabling these because these are the most important uh, statistics that uh, an electric car user usually observes. So in an E2 you have this drive efficiency graph and then you have your echo point score that is a gamification feature where if you come every E2 user compares against each other and uh, see who's driving more efficiently but there's no such thing here in E2 Plus. So Mahindra really needs to um, give an update, software update to enable these. I mean, else there's no fun of driving an electric car if you cannot see your efficiency graphs and statistics. Of course, most users don't care. They just want to get from point A to point B. But there are people who are keen to uh, understand the efficiency, understand how how well they're doing and improve their driving habits, uh, etc. So this is uh, disappointing that there's no drive efficiency in a co-drive uh, option here. Uh, so that's about, and then you have a user manual. Uh, it's pretty basic. It has multiple video manuals, so this is this is similar to the E2 the video manuals. And uh, 
apps, go to the settings, navigation, you, yeah, there's no SD, there's no map uh, software installed here, so there's no navigation. And the settings has multiple uh, settings including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, connectivity, you can even connect to email, so it's pretty interesting here, it reads, the car reads out your email. Uh, yeah, multiple such, uh, multiple such options. So this is an interesting one, Echo Smile. So what this does is it it gives you it gives you a small note of appreciation as you drive. It just it just pops up and says, okay, well you're driving very efficiently, great. But this is not enough. I think this is okay. This is good. But we just need the charts and then the Echo Point system, which is missing. That is uh, something that uh, that can be incorporated. So and you have apps. Apparently you can browse. If you're connected to the Wi-Fi, maybe you can browse. Yeah, it has a browser. Uh, so we couldn't uh, connect to the Wi-Fi. We tried, but uh, we could not connect to the Wi-Fi for some reason. So go to the home. So multiple apps here that uh, can enhance your experience of using your car. So all in all, a pretty interesting uh, display. Uh, definitely more advanced than the display provided with the E2, but uh, without drive efficiency, without a code drive, uh, it's uh, it's not interesting for serious electric car users. So that's the overview on the uh, E2 Plus Dash. Uh, all in all, a lot of good features, but uh, more can be done. I hope Mahindra takes uh, this seriously and improves uh, the navigation with the software updates, but. Let's see if they do it.